Today, I will review 4 Orange Weapons of Medusa. Please follow NDL and send a thousand times of happiness to your loved ones. Hello everyone. I am NDL. The 4 Orange Weapons are, Short Bow of the Medusa, Calibrated Crossbow of the Medusa, Lance of the Medusa, Scribblings of the Medusa. One thing that surprises me is that Medusa has electric damage. I always thought that when people mention Medusa, they would think of freezing abilities. First of all, where I found these four weapons is the Brinewash Grotto map, from 6am to 6pm. You can farm cards to exchange, but it's quite difficult with blue cards. Luckily, I farmed two weapons and used the card to exchange for the remaining two weapons. I hope you will like this video, subscribe to the channel to support me. This map is difficult to farm because there are very few monsters. Now let's see what's special about these four weapons. The first weapon is the short bow of the Medusa. When you attack normally, it will shoot an arrow with electric damage, causing an electric shock effect on the target. When fully charged, it will have a buff that allows you to shoot an additional 5 bullets within 10 seconds. You may find it weak or too fast, but if you use it correctly, it is really powerful. The second weapon is the calibrated crossbow of the Medusa. When you attack, it will shoot one arrow, but if you combine it with the bow above, it will shoot five arrows. After fully charged, it will shoot one arrow with an electric shock every second. I don't find this skill strong. It needs to be combined with some supporting fate bound to be powerful. The third weapon is the Lance of the Medusa. When you attack, it will stab once with electric damage, and nothing too special. When fully charged, it creates thunder and immobilizes the target. I think this weapon should be combined with some melee fate bound and additional electric fate bound. However, I don't see it trending because most people use the longsword of the Black Arch Knight for play melee class. Finally, the scribblings of the Medusa. This seems to be the most popular weapon. I see many people using it. You can use it for all classes. Its basic attack will shoot an electric ball, which may not seem special. But when fully charged, it will shoot many electric balls and stun the enemy, making them unable to move. This is what makes it special. Now let's talk about the main fate bound of these four types of weapons, which is Spirit of the Medusa. It talks about the fact that the farther you stand from the target, the greater the damage. Very suitable for fighting bosses because no one wants to stand close to a boss, right? Smiley face? Actually, there are also some supporting fate bound for these weapons. But I will explain them later because I am still farming their fate bound and haven't collected enough. Okay. After reading about the four orange weapons of the Medusa boss. Which one do you like the most? Which orange weapon of the boss do you want to see next? Please leave a comment. Alright, today's video is done. Thank you for your enthusiastic support. Thank you all. Goodbye.